Hello and welcome to another Sporty's Flight Sim Review video. Today we're going to cover the basics of creating a flight plan in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. There's a couple new features over the previous version and we're going to jump on in and show what we like and what we don't like about creating a flight plan here. So let's check it out. So where we are going to create this flight plan will be in the free flight tile from the home page or dashboard if you will. And this is a similar view to what the previous program had of a movable map. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, and then we can control some of the features up here on the top bar. So I want to depart from our home airport here, Claremont County. There we are, India 6 Niner. We'll zoom in, and based off my aircraft selection for today, Cessna 172 Skyhawk, it's gonna give me a range indicator of where I'm able to fly to. Now I can either type in my arrival up here, or I can just zoom on in and choose an airport. So let's say today we are flying to Nashville International. I'm gonna set that as my arrival, and there we go. But at the same time, I really wanna fly over Louisville. So we're gonna add that to our route, and now that is a part of our line. A couple other things that I really like about the program is we can now get into where do we want to start today's flight. Do we want to start on runway 22, runway 4, do we want to start at parking and go ahead and deal with taxiing and making those calls. Also where do we end the flight, runway 31, all the other options we have here, different gates, parking, all the above. So you can really get into the, the A to Z of how your flight's going to go. Another thing that is great is they give you a little bit of details or briefing on what you can expect for the runways at Nashville International. So runway two left is 7,693 feet of concrete. Also get frequencies that we're gonna need in order to talk to that airport as we're flying there. So I like that and then as we zoom in a little bit more, they're also giving us a planned entry to the airport of where we could fly. Now, of course, the teardrop is open for interpretation there, but it does give you a indication of what it wants you to do default-wise. If we wanna change the flight conditions for the day, we can go into this tab and go to live air traffic. We can go to live multiplayer. We can even go to live weather and time. So what the temps, barometric pressure, uh, cloud coverage, humidity, all those things that we're receiving here at Claremont County Airport, if I turn on live weather, it will do that also and populate it into the program. We also have some presets. Today I'm going for clear skies, but we can alter all those things as we would like and that will affect our flight. So those are the basics of creating a flight plan the one improvement that I think this program now has over the previous is we have a EFB widget available at any time throughout the program. Here we have it as an option on this page, but also it's the default on any keyboard for tab button. And in this EFB, we are able to pull up our flight plan. So here's departure airport India 6 Niner. Here is our final airport Louisville, or I'm sorry, in route airport is Louisville, and then our destination is Nashville International with the runway selected. But one of the things that I really like that saves me time is I can send this route to the aircraft's avionics with the push of a button. So now that flight plan or route has been plugged into the aircraft's avionics and it will populate in there. Save me some time of redoing this when I'm in the digital airplane, which I think is just great. So that is a quick take on how you create a flight plan, how you prep a flight in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. Uh, there's a lot of improvements in this program. This is one where it's gotten a little bit of an improvement with the live weather, the live traffic. Uh, it really does create one more step towards a realistic world of flying an aircraft, even if it is digital. So we hope this video was a little uh, explanation or helpful towards creating a flight plan. We thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.